Yeah, well, having having the whole crew around, that's good inspiration, man. Like having the house that we've got with the studio at the house, it's awesome inspiration all being around each other all the time. Yeah, bloody earth. We're actually going to talk about that, like being surrounded with so many creative people. Yeah. And obviously, obviously, if you're doing this solo, it's like anything else. You're, <clears throat> as you said, when you started, you're like, oh, who can I send this to that won't make fun yeah, of me? Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So true, man. Unbelievably. And like, that's, just, that's just the bad culture that needs the fucking. Yeah. yeah. That's just the it's like even you and me were talking, like, oh, yeah, we're going to do a podcast and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I was like, you know what I mean? It's just like, Literally, Seth will get around this because they're doing, they know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, they're going through that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But like, being surrounded by so many creative people be so motivating. And so, like, you've got, like you said, Someone else really just like, fuck, that's actually sick. I need to do something sick as fuck too. You know what yeah, I mean? So it's yeah. just like obviously building your, yourselves up. You know what I mean? Being around each other. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. well, well, I think like <coughs> we've been awesome inspiration for each other. I feel like that's why I feel like me as a rapper, man, like I've been writing bars for like 18 months and there's half of these dudes who've like loved rap way more than me and been into it and like probably written bars for years but never, yeah, there's Push. never been anything with it. You know what I mean? Probably just done it in their own time just to pass time, you know what I mean? Just because they're into it, whatever. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, I love that, like... This is maybe, the push. So, so it's like, I start rapping and then like half of them might be like, fuck man, if Seth is rapping, like, I better do some raps because it's like, you know, they, I've been they probably think, yeah, I've been rapping for this long and he fucking does that. Like, uh, and then it might be for the next person, like, because that person did it, then it might be, oh fuck, if he's going to do it now as well, like, oh, of course Seth is doing it, but if he's going to do it, well, I better do it. You know, it's like, it goes down the chain again and again, more and more inspiration. Yeah. So that, so like, I was going to say, that's that, that's what inspires people too, because sometimes it's not cunts telling you what to do, it's people leading by example. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's sort of what you've done. Like, yeah, you, yeah. like, like you said, like you fucking were literally breaking out fucking tunes, like what? six months yeah, eight yeah, months into yeah, rapping like yeah. whatever like fucking doing well, doing some serious work where people that have been rapping their whole life fucking probably spit probably could freestyle better than half cunts can yeah, fucking yeah, write yeah. but because they've never left their bedroom to Man, do it Emmett one of the boys like Emmett literally spat his first bars in the booth last night and he has got like books like books of rhymes like really books and books like he would have written more raps than any of us yeah. but like he's spat and I was like what the fuck, man? Those are sick. Like, mm. like I don't know it's just, it's just. Do you reckon it's, it's just nerves to, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. That's, that's, that's it why is. it's good to have the home. That's why having the studio at home is so good because comfortability. It, yeah, it's all like we can be sitting there, we can be sitting there just doing nothing, and go, oh, let's make a track, and you didn't even plan to, and you've yep. got bars and whatever, and you end up making. That's how we made that fuck off track, like that first yep. one, like the goods you can own on SoundCloud. Like yep. that was just sitting there, we weren't even planning to do anything. And then other times you can plan to go in there and have a big session and then sit there and fucking be stoned and do nothing. Like, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's like, you yeah. just literally, the comfortability of it and the leisure of it sort of takes away, I guess. So you're not like going in there being like, oh, we're in the studio today. We've got a bloody, we've got to get this track done or, you, you know, and you feel like that's when you, you're not just being... You're, you're forcing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're forcing it. it. It's probably not going to sound how you want it to sound. You're going to get annoyed. You're not really all. letting like, it happen. Yeah, we can go in there, you can plan to get so much done and not get anything done and it's yep. all good because you can come back tomorrow and do it or you can sit up all night if you want because it's in the shed or yeah. you can go to plan to do bugger all and turns out you actually fucking make some of your best music ever. I don't know, you know, it's just like that leisure of it is really good to have there. Like, yeah, it definitely makes it awesome for us. Like, yeah. And fucking for everyone that's a bunch of hating cunts, <laughs> fuck you and fuck off <laughs> featuring Setho and Springer MC. <laughs> yeah.